Hi there, in this video I'm going to take a look at how we can create elevation profile graphs in QGIS. So to do this you're going to need two things. One is a layer that shows the routes you want to create the elevation profile along, or multiple routes if that's the case. Um, I've got a road layer here taken from the Ordnance Survey's open data. And the second thing you're going to need is an elevation layer to pull that elevation data from. So if you don't have an elevation layer already, then please check out my previous videos for a guide on some free and open sources of elevation data that you can use. So once you've got those two things, there's actually a number of different tools for creating um, road graphs or elevation profiles within QGIS. Um, and we're going to go into the plugins manager here, plugins, manage and install plugins. And if you start typing profile, there's a few tools that come up. Um, now, probably the obvious one to go to is profile tool. But this seems to have a few issues at the moment. It seems to be OK if we want to plot every line in a layer. But if we have a, a line layer and we only want to pro plot profiles for part of it, um, it doesn't seem to be quite working properly at the moment. Uh, but actually, an alternative tool that has even greater functionality in terms of the options that it gives you is QProf. Now, it sounds a bit more complex, calculates height and slope profiles from DEM and GPX files and plots geologic altitudes and traces on profiles. So it can do quite a lot of things if we want to do geological profiling. Uh, but actually, it's also a great tool if we just want to do a straightforward elevation profile along some, some lines. So go ahead and install QProf and then close the plugins manager. And we can open QProf under plugins, QProf, and click on the QProf tool. And it will open up the window on the right hand side here. So the first thing we need to do is define our source DMs. And this is actually one of the things that QProf can do that none of the other profile tools I've looked at can do, which is to plot profiles from several different DEMs simultaneously. So actually, if you're looking at change over time, you want to plot profiles from DEMs from a number of different years, for example, then you can actually select all of those and create profiles at once. I actually have a surface model and a terrain model, so I'm going to select both of those just to demonstrate the difference. And click OK. The next thing we need to do is select the line layer that we're getting our profiles from. So my road layer here is pretty complex. Um, I've got about 800 different sections of road. Um, and actually, QProf will handle that in a way if I just select Clip SJ Road. Um, but one of the issues is that it's limited to 10,000 source points and, um, sorry, 10,000 profile points. And you can see here, because of the total length of lines I've got and the line dis densify distance is set to one meter, so that's essentially our sample spacing for the profile along the lines, that's going to give a lot more than 10,000 points. So I could plot profiles for every single road that I'm showing here, but I'd have to significantly reduce the sampling distance. So what I'm actually going to do instead is just select a number of different road sections just to demonstrate what the results from this tool um, look like. So I now need to, because I've changed my parameters, click choose layer again. Um, I'm going to keep clip SJ road. So we have multiple profiles, the line order field, I'm going to use the ID field. So it's just when it plots the graphs, tells it which order to, to put them in. So we now need to go through the various steps at the bottom here. So first of all, read source data. And get a little message to say data profile read. Then we have to calculate the profile statistics. So this mostly helps it calculate the kind of maximum and minimum values to use on the graphs when it plots them. And it calculates those for each of our individual profiles. And finally, we can click Create Topographic Profile. Um, and we have a few options here. Create a vertical exaggeration, um, maximum and minimum elevation values. Actually going to reduce out minimum down to zero. So it's going from 
ground level upwards, you can plot height or slope, and it can be absolute or directional, so I'm just going to go with absolute height. And plot style, so by default it will just draw lines, um, but if we want we can choose to have it filled, and we can also choose colours. So I'm actually going to make a DSM be blue and the DTM graph part of the graph be red. Because remember, for each of those lines, it's actually plotting two profiles, one from my surface model and one from my elevation model. And click OK, and here we go. It's plotted graphs for each of my four profiles. Um, and we can see the slight differences. If we zoom in here between the surface model and terrain model. So because um, obviously a terrain model is the bare earth, so essentially the blue bits are probably showing where we have trees, vegetation overhanging the road area and therefore giving us a higher elevation value. And then we can set that back to default. Um, now one thing we don't really have is a good export option here, which is a shame. We can print screen. Um, there's not actually, again, if we come back to the options here, there's no option for actually um, exporting them here. Um, however, we can go over to the export tab on the right here and choose to export figure, um, set up size. Um, I'm just going to call this prof1 and I'm going to save it as a PDF. And click OK. And if I go to my file here now, you can see we now have a, a PDF. Um, it's not perfect, there are a few graphical issues. It doesn't add on um, axes labels, um, although being a PDF, we could open that up in a vector program like Illustrator, or we could just take a little bit more time to format the layout. However, the other option that we have is to export the topographic profile data. Um, and this basically is exporting the raw, the point data that's being used to generate those profiles. And we can either export it as a shapefile, so a point or line shapefile with that data included, or we can export it to a CSV, which is what I'm actually going to do. Um, call this profile.csv and I'm not doing a shape file so that's irrelevant um, and what we now have if I open this up in Excel is a CSV file with all of the data used to calculate the profiles so we can see the numbers on the left hand side here um, I've got quite a lot of points per profile And that eventually goes up to two. There we go. So we can see where it changes from profile one to profile two over on the left hand side there. So what I'm going to do just for now is to actually copy profile one into a separate tab. And if we want to plot a standard profile, we've got our distance um, here. And so we have 2D surface distance and we have 3D surface distance. Actually, I'm going to plot um, 3D surface distance. I'm going to insert that over here because Excel will automatically assume that our X axis is the one on the left. And I'm going to plot that against um, our DSM elevation. So insert. Uh, I could do this as points or lines. I'm going to plot it as a smooth line graph. And there we go. We now have our elevation profile, uh, which we can modify and format in any way that we want to. And like I said, I've had a, a bit of an experiment, and this currently seems to be the best tool available within QJS for producing these kind of 
topographic profile graphs and allowing us to view them and export the data. So thanks a lot. I hope that was useful. Um, please remember to like the video and subscribe to keep up to date with my new videos and hopefully see you again soon.